Well, Mike, I think a lot of Bernie Sanders delegates as well as uh, the former candidate himself would take issue with uh, the phrase that it appears the Democratic National Committee was working in conjunction with Hillary Clinton's campaign. They say it is much more than that, that those 20,000 some emails that were released by WikiLeaks showed a much, much greater tie between the DNC and Hillary Clinton. And this from an organization that is supposed to be impartial and make sure the democratic process just moves forward in a fair fashion. Now, the, 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 the DNC members really wanted to get off and paint themselves in a sharp contrast to what unfolded in Cleveland with the Republican convention last week and the divisiveness and the bitterness uh, that played out up there, but it did not happen. Uh, Marsha Fudge, a representative from the state of Ohio, was the one who brought the gavel down, ushering in this convention exactly five hours ago. And here's how she was greeted when she talked about this party's presumptive candidate, Hillary Clinton. A chorus of boos coming up from the convention floor. Many, of course, those people, Bernie Sanders supporters. Sanders tapped into a disaffected uh, uh, voting block across the United States this year. His uh, supporters, many young, many very liberal, uh, really want to make their uh, feelings known here at this convention. Now, as for Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she was the DNC chairwoman leading up uh, to this event. She had to step down after those emails became apparent that she and her staff was exchanging with uh, the Clinton administration. She gave up her speaking role a long time ago, and this morning she met with her own delegates from her state of Florida. And Wow, that raucous greeting really set the tone, and her fate was pretty much sealed at that moment. Hours later, she announced that she would not have the ceremonial position of bringing the gavel down, welcoming the delegates to this convention, and she probably won't be the one bringing the gavel down, ending things as well. Now, for his part, Bernie Sanders, the uh, uh, chief competitor against Hillary Clinton during the Democratic uh, uh, primaries and caucuses across the United States this past year, has taken the high road. And he basically urged his supporters to get out in November and support Hillary Clinton, saying that the Democratic Party must do everything it can to defeat Donald Trump. He went on to call Trump a demagogue, and for the Sanders supporters, they were not swayed. They are still bitter, they are still upset, and there is still a divide between the two uh, parties here, the two various camps, rather, here at the Democratic National Convention. Sanders supporters protested Sunday, they protested today in mass, and they have a number of protests scheduled tomorrow, Mike. So for any hope of having this be a smooth, clean ride to the Democratic nomination, that went out the door right now, a very fractious situation here in Philadelphia. The other speeches will be coming down uh, 30 minutes to an hour from now. Michelle Obama, the first lady, will speak first, and she is expected to trumpet Hillary Clinton as the best candidate to lead the nation for the next four years, handing the mantle from her husband's administration over to Hillary Clinton. But the big wild card, what will Bernie Sanders say? He has come out over the last two days saying that he's not shocked that the DNC was working in cahoots with Clinton's camp, but he was disappointed and he wants to make sure moving forward the rules change. They've done away with uh, many of the so-called super delegates, which uh, anybody who's followed this political process know a lion's share of those went to Hillary Clinton uh, this year. And Clinton's camp says they have not read Bernie Sanders' speech. So it, we don't know what he's going to say, but we can only presume, using the past as a yardstick, that he's going to come out and say, do what is right for the Democratic Party. The only person standing between Donald Trump and the White House is going to be Hillary Clinton. Mike? Well, it certainly wasn't the unified front the Democrats wanted on day one of their convention. Very early on, a vocal group of Bernie Sanders supporters hijacked the floor. They were screaming his name and booing when they heard Hillary Clinton's. Now, they are furious over these leaked emails that confirm what they have long suspected, that indeed the Democratic National Committee was working against Bernie Sanders in favour of Hillary Clinton. The scandal has seen the Democratic Committee apologise and the chairwoman resign.